there's not a lot that rattles Matt Cable these days. A deadlift of 600 pounds? Easy. A life-threatening disease? No sweat. Wow. When the Great Falls Airman had a chance to meet Dwayne The Rock Johnson, well, nerves got the best of him. Call me brother, I was like, whoa. He gave me a bro hug and call me brother. I'm like, holy smokes. <laughs> I'm shaking, I'm like, what's going on? I forgot what I was talking about. Cable is one of 64 athletes who will compete on Johnson's new show, The Titan Games. He was selected from a nationwide pool after sending in an audition video and competing at a combine. The 28-year-old calls the experience life-changing. And yeah, they called me ecstatic. They're like, you know, is this the Matt Cable? I was like, I think, I don't know. It's, it's a Matt Cable. So I said that too. I was like, I was so nervous. And he's like, I just want you to know, you know, you're not, you made the Titan Games. Like, congratulations. I'm like, oh. So that was uh, crazy. It was Cable's story that resonated with The Rock and the show's producers. And what a story it is. In 2014, Cable was in peak physical condition until something changed. And I remember that day like it was, you know, like it was yesterday. Uh, I, uh, I was actually at a fantasy football draft at my buddy's house. And about halfway through, you know, I got super sick, um, like flu-like symptoms, um, times two. <laughs> um, called my mom, I was like, hey mom, uh, you wanna go to the hospital with me? I'm not feeling very good. A series of tests followed by the news no one wants to hear. Matt was diagnosed with AML leukemia, cancer in his bones. Holy smokes, you know, I got my mom on the right side of me. My brother turns pale white on the left side of me. And I'm just like sitting there like, you know, my mom starts crying. I'm like, I guess I got to beat it. And so, you know, I, I felt like I had to be the strong one for them. You know, it, I was, I know I never thought anything of it. I was like, I'm not gonna, you know, I never thought once that I was gonna die, you know? Things got worse before they got better. Chemotherapy took a toll on his body, which led to 18 days in the ICU, which led to complete organ failure, which led to a medically induced coma he would likely never wake from. But miracles happen and Cable is proof. Five days later, he opened his eyes. Not, sp not supposed to make it, but then I make it. Um, you know, no one really could could believe that I actually survived that. And like, I remember I told my mom, I was like, I was like, mom, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. And I, and you know, I, I stuck to my word. You know, even though there's times that, you know, she thought that I wasn't gonna, but I woke up, I was like, told you, mom. <laughs> and you can probably guess his first stop after leaving the hospital. I went to the gym, you know, and I went to the bench press and the bar and two reps and it like buried me. I'm like, what? 45 pounds. <laughs> like this, this is, this is crazy. So I was like, well, you know, I couldn't, I had to look in the mirror and when I did, I'm like, this ain't, this isn't going to be you for very much longer. You know, like you just keep grinding, you know, I have pick lines in my arm. I'm like, let's go. Three years ago, Cable struggled to bench 45 pounds. Now he's putting up over 400. He competed in the Warrior Games, is chasing a spot in the CrossFit Games, and at every turn hopes to inspire others to never give up. So my next chapter in my life was you know getting better and doing all these stuff that I had goals and dreams in mind. You know that after you almost die once, uh, your second life is you can call it. Um, you don't want to waste it, and so <clears throat> I've definitely changed in that mindset. So my message to uh, uh, other individuals who are going through similar circumstances or like obstacles, uh, it's just never give up. Um, uh, just every morning you wake up, just get up, um, show out, you know, like like get up and uh, go grind, you know, whatever that is, it doesn't have to be fitness. Um, and just continue to just fight and battle each day. Filming for the Titan Games has wrapped up and Cable can't discuss the results until the show airs, but he does know it's not the last time you'll hear his name. Like, I got a lot of stuff I gotta do, man, before I die. Um, I chase goals and dreams every day. Um, and the Titan Games is just another goal, you know, that I had. And I got it, you know, I got a lot, a lot more, you know, I'm not even you know close to done, you know, chasing my goals, so. Tom Wiley, MTN Sports.